Okay, so as many of you guys know or you have seen, I do not have the greatest diet in the world. I mean, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The problem is that I love sweets, I love ice cream. I know, that's an issue. I need to work on that. So today, I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to talk about diet, but here's the thing. I'm no professional, so I really have no, how do I put it? I should ha probably have no input on this topic. So. I'm gonna talk to a friend about it because he's a professional, super smart, really knowledgeable, and knows probably a lot more than I do on the topic. It's my friend Ryan, so let's go talk to him. You know why? Because it's Wednesday. Like I said, so I have a friend that knows way more about this stuff than I do, my good friend Ryan Howard. He is a nutritionist and studying to become a psychologist, and I'm going to begin by, by asking him to tell us a little bit of his story, because there's a lot to talk about, but we're going to try to get through as much as we can. So Ryan, tell me a little bit of your story. Well, so it's funny. I love nutrition, but the reason why I got into it was to save my own life because I was overweight as a teenager. And so I struggled with, you know, low self-esteem, all those type of things. And so I got in the gym just because I wanted to lose some weight, you know, I ended up doing it a lot more, fell in love with it and respectively fell in love with nutrition. And so I was like, wow, this is, this is cool. Like you're taking chemicals and like foods and you're programming your body to be awesome. And so <laughs> I was literally like, okay, I want to be awesome. So like, let's do that. And I want to make other people awesome. So I became a nutritionist and that's kind of like where that started off. And now I love it. You that's know? awesome. So let's let's begin with like a basic basic like why is nutrition important? Mm -hmm. So think about it this way, right? It's funny because we just think of food as like calories these things we put in our body and they just disappear and then whatever happens, but they're actually information like when we put food in our body our body is trillions of organisms and our food is data that programs them how to function so when we put in, let's say, you know, this protein or this carbohydrate with these nutrients, we're telling these living organisms in our body, this is how I want you to act. I want you to produce more energy. I want you to make me happier. I want you to make me stronger. And here's how I want you to do it. So it's just making your quality of life more efficient with what you put in your mouth. Now, what is something that people can uh, like grab onto? Some, something really basic. Obviously, the number one thing that we all know is, of course, the quality of your food is important. You know, we think, oh, we should avoid sugars and we shouldn't eat carbs and don't eat after 7 p.m. But all of that is what I call bro science. It's not real. Just eat quality food. Make sure you're giving yourself fuel. I like to do smaller meals more consistently throughout the day. A lot of us just eat once a day or, you know, we're living off energy drinks. Just quality meals and keep yourself fueled up. Be more conscious of what you're putting exactly. in your body first. Call it mindful eating. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. explain that a little bit. Yeah, and so it's kind of like the concept of mindfulness is being aware of the present moment, what's going on right now in my life. And so I'm able to appreciate life better. When we eat mindfully, it's the same exact thing. What is this food that I'm eating right now? What is it doing to me? How is it contributing to me feeling better and enjoying better? And so you end up enjoying the food more and it gives you a better experience of it and it makes you healthier. And so just being mindful when we make these little decisions long term, it helps us be so much healthier. How does that affect your performance? How does it affect how you think? Mm -hmm. How does that all have to do with like the physical output? Of so this is really interesting, right? We tend to think of our brain that's in our head as our primary brain, but the primary brain is actually our stomach. 90% of the signals of the data of the communication that goes in between our brain and our stomach is from the stomach to the brain. When we ingest food and it's then digested, we then send out signals to the rest of the body. So the food that we come in is controlling how well we think, it's controlling how we feel, it's controlling our strength. It's like a controller. When we eat, we're, we're literally hitting the controller telling our player what to do. 
<laughs> 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 okay. Also, you're studying to be a psychologist. Right. So how right. do you like tie those two things together, but also like what's something deeper mm -hmm. that maybe people don't know in the idea of nutrition? First thing is the, the connection of nutrition and psychology is this. They're the two most important aspects of our life if we understand them, and it's for this reason why. The only thing that matters is our experience of life. That's literally what quality of life means. It's the quality of the emotional states we live in from day to day. So that comes down to two things. Number one, our brain is what creates our experience of life. And number two, our body is the vehicle that we get to experience it in. When we really break that down and we ask ourselves, okay, what is it that I want? Do I want to feel healthier? Do I want to feel more intelligent or in tune or whatever? Those are the two things that help bring us that. We don't know how much power we have, mm. that we have the autonomy to make the decisions. That if I wanna be happier or all those things, like I said, if I alter the way that I think, if I alter the way that I eat, it will create a better life for me. We look outside and we say, my experiences, my environment, that's what's going to create how I feel. But no, 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 how I create how I feel comes from here. And those are the two things we use to do that. And that's what people don't know. It's like that old saying, to change the world around you, you gotta change the world within you. Exactly. If you truly want to live your best life, the number one answer to that is self-love. And the way that we express self-love, because love is an action verb. So if you want to love yourself, you need to take action in doing that. So take care of your body and take care of the way that you think. I could not have said it any better. Actually, I don't even think I could have said that because that was just phenomenal. Ryan, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate Always it. a pleasure, man. Yes, man. Always a pleasure. Oh my gosh. How, okay, so how can they they find more about you? What's like your what's like your social media and all that stuff? Got you online. Uh, my Instagram is rh underscore transformation, and on top of that, I actually have a podcast called the RH Podcast. You can check that out on iTunes, all those types of things, and on Facebook, I'm just Ryan Howard. Okay, you gotta check that out. Make sure you look them up because. I'm already, like, my life has already changed, so <laughs> go check him out. I hope you liked it. See you later.